I'm down. I'm your host, George Gutty, with the next host, Christoph the Trey Way. Trey Way is not the way. <laughs> Trey Way is not the way. I do not sponsor Takashi and no way should before. <laughs> Alright, guys, so this is long, long overdue. <laughs> this is where we prove that we're good people. Yes, this is where we prove that we have some type of ears to listen and a heart to to melt something, you know. Um, so this is gonna be your girls' episode right here. I put a poll today. I probably should have done this a lot earlier. I didn't. So I, my bad, y'all. If y'all watch this and like, damn. But I put a poll out like probably like two hours ago or something like that about. How guys, are guys lamer in 2018, basically, right? And how, how are guys lame, DM us, yada, 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 yada. I actually got one, one, one girl that snapped, though. Like, for real? She, okay, so I'm going to read it to kind of set this tone, I guess, a little. Actually, no, few people, oh, oh, a few people came in. Hold up, I'm late to the party. All right, let's check it out, bro. So I'm going to read the first one that I know, and then we could kind of go from there. So let me see, I got, looks like. Three people replied. Okay. So let's go with this one, bro. So this girl. Dang, that's this a girl paragraph. Goes, this girl goes. Right, so this, this Who one are you? <laughs> so this was the question. Today, so I cut. I put today's a day and we flame the guys. Send me or I'm down to via DM letting us know how guys are lame now or any questions you have on men slash boys today. Right? This girl oh, so abruptly and passionately wrote. Guys suck. Guys can be married, have a child, etc. and still try to get at you. 99.9% of guys are machistas. Not in the sense of cook for me woman, though that part is true. That part is true too. But in the sense of I'm a man, I can do what, do what I want, but you females don't talk to men. Most guys are liars. Most guys just have a front. Guys in general suck. Let's not talk about the old ones who can't see walking down the street without... Oh, uh, mommy! Like, bruh, let me walk in peace! And the younger ones, all they want is sex from everyone. No quieren el pastel, pero tampoco quieren, tampoco quieren que alguien más se lo coman. All in, all in all, men suck. For the last people, my non Spanish speakers, she basically said, You don't want your cake. But you don't want anybody else to eat it also, right? That's how, that's the yeah. translation for it, which I never quite understood that line. But whatever. I mean, it's basically like uh like the, the idea is you can't have the cake and eat it too. Mm. But it comes from a historical context of France, Louis, you know, Okay, like Marie okay. Antoinette. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Should we read the, the next two? Yeah, let's see what we got. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Okay, me one. Men who still wear their pants under their ass. That sounds like some thug shit. I don't know what you have. Okay, two. Men have let chivalry go. Okay, three. Men who overkill the coding. I just <laughs> love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm with you. I'm hey, with Jesus. you. I'm with you all day, man. So annoying. <laughs> Men who still take pics holding a spread out stack of 20s and a gun that they probably don't even know how to shoot or load. Damn. Damn, what kind of guys do you have on Instagram, bro? <laughs> He's an Alipada guy. He's a definitely an Alipada guy. I know a few guys like this. Hispanic men who love to snatch at themselves singing Te No, <laughs> Knowing that girl yeah, left them heartbroken. God yeah. damn. Ouch. Okay. Yo, this girl sound hurt. Hey, you know what? Rightfully so, because when we talk about girls, we be sounding kind of hurt you sometimes. Know, you sound kind of hurt. I don't sound hurt. Nah, I don't sound hurt. Then I what do you say? I didn't snap it, but I didn't say it. Yo, let's, let's have some compassion at least, you butt. And, okay, this girl, I put, our guy's name in 2018? That was a question. The poll was yes or no. I'm going to put yes. So, 74% say yes. 26% say no. And she said, lame as hell. Damn. So, now, let me check out that story to kind of see, um... Wait, what is here? So we can kind of see the polls real quick. Oye, pero vivo. Que es esto a serio? Okay, yeah, just right here. Oh, wow, so we actually got a lot of votes. So 20 votes for yes, 7 votes for no. And out of those voters, we have... Okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 yeses from girls. 
and the rest are just guys. I'm guessing they're all saying no. Let me see if any guy said yes. Oh, actually, yeah, a guy did say yes. Oscar said yes. Another guy said yes. Okay, so, see, so, I like this other guy said yes. Yeah, All right, yeah. so, guys, most, oh, you said yes. Of course, guys are A lot right. of guys are in the yes, actually. Here. And let me see who said no. Um, A few people said no. Did any girl say no? Nah, nah, no girls. And these are straight men. Uh, so, okay. Bias. So, yes, bias. We can, we can go ahead and say bias. So, um, let me see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Yo, somebody. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, I actually have a few notes on this, actually. Like, a few, like, things I actually want to say. Get them on your chest. I want to Nah, but I need to get there. I need to get there because it has to be such... I don't want to just throw it out there, but... Why do you think guys are lame in 2018? Or just in general? Like, do you think you become lamer? Or, like, how do you think this, this whole... But, I mean, my question is, what do you mean by lame? Like, when, like, when I say whack, like, that what you mean by lame? Yeah. Or, like, lame, like... Because, you know, for me, I mean, okay. you know my stand. I think guys are ducks. Yeah. Well, okay, look, this is the thing. And girls, feel free to correct me at any point. This is what, at least what I'm thinking right now by what girls mean by names, right? So we have this time where a lot of girls like to say, you know, niggas ain't shit, guys are this, whatever, right? That's like the whole thing that we have going on, right? And I think it's because a lot of guys are kind of corny and cheesy with, like, pickup lines, right? And like how they try to some approach a girl. Them. Some girls do, but I'm saying I'm, I'm assuming like how the how the approach will be, right? Like, and I guess the intent is very obvious instead of being like you know obscure as I guess maybe it was back then. I don't know. And there's no coding now. Yeah, exactly. Like like one of the girls says no more chivalry. So I think that that's part of like what what girls think. Like, oh, all these lames out here. Like it's really I guess just a bunch of guys who aren't really trying to take women serious anymore. I guess like that's what they're talking about. Because you know, the thing is that like it's kind of shaded because I guess like like at, at least like in my opinion, the city of Miami, at least me like you know experiencing some things, it's like it's almost a little bit hard to take girls serious too because you just don't know like you, like you, sometimes you just don't know a girl's intentions. Yeah, everybody's you know? playing the field. Yeah, you sometimes you, and women are very good at that, right? Like so I don't know. But this is not about girls, it's about guys, right? So I'm guessing that's what they mean by lame or like yeah. I, I, or maybe I don't know. Maybe you guys know something else you guys can add it in there. But I know. Well, go ahead. What do you think? Like your your thoughts right now? I mean, I, I think guys are ducks. Like you know, and, and I think guys. Are, I'm serious. I think like, guys a lot are of quack quacks, ducks. Like, like, quack like and by ducks, like I mean ducks. Yeah. Like there's like you know the extreme of like Papa Chula wannabes, right? Like like the nine eleven, like the eleven like like hats, the eleven hats. 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 And, and you know your Adidas shirts. That's and, that's fuckboy. Yeah. But again, the lemon hat. You're potentially a fuckboy. Like, like, I don't want to say all the way, but potentially. But that's a duck. That's a duck to me. Okay. But then there's the other side of ducks. Where is this guys that that I just met? If I I speak to girls right, and they tell me like how guys handle them, mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, where do you find this lines? Like, where do you find this mood? Can where do you, you find make of one? Like, like for example, like oh. One of the funniest ones in my life is I'll treat you better than he ever did. Oh, God. That is such a dark line. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. You were, right? Oh, okay. I don't think I heard that this Yo, week. that is such a dark line. It is. Like, yeah. first of all, <laughs> I think that I think that's one of those things where girls say guys are lame because of those type of lines. Like, but then there's another distinction. It's like, you know, like a girl that mentioned that guys are not chivalrous anymore. Like, yeah. first of all, a guy can be a jerk. But that doesn't mean he should be disrespectful. He should have manners. He should know how to treat a woman. Right. Like, one of the things, like, I don't think I'm the nicest guy. Mm-hmm. But I would never disrespect a girl in the sense I would never put a hand on the girl. I would never, you know. No, there's certain limits. There's right. certain words I don't use with women. Because right. I feel like they're, you know, derogative that they're yeah. disrespectful. You know, holding a door, like things a bitch, like that. Bitch one of them? Yeah. First of all, I don't cuz, you know. Like, yeah, I don't true, true. <laughs> let alone I'm still a woman just cuz, you know. Yeah. Um... But there's even like the word like thotty. I don't like the word thotty. Thotties. I don't really like the word thotty. I don't like the word like there's a lot of words I don't like for women. Um, yeah, they are like demeaning. They, you know, and they're not insults necessarily because we use it in like, common sense. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's also the idea is like, man, like sometimes holding a door, that has nothing to do with a guy being good. That's just something you should always do. Something like saying thank you, please. Right, right. You know, right. stuff like that. And but I, it's, it's something men have lost. Like a lot of guys don't do that. Like like I like I don't you know, think they lost it. I, I think they just never learned it. 
you yeah. know that yeah that's, it's like so that's, that's part of your upbringing, upbringing. that's why I, I don't know about it. at least me like my yeah. parents would beat my behind if i don't say please and thank you for every sentence right because it's it, that is it's that like is a cultural thing you know? so you think guys just lost manners or never had manners to be yeah, like, yeah. they weren't I, 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 yeah yeah because i mean those are things that become like in great yeah. deal. Now you start saying please and thank you, you don't think about it. You hold the door, you don't think about it. You say, yeah. you know, good morning, good afternoon. Even if people don't answer back, your yeah, own responsibility yeah. as a person. It's you know, so when, when a girl starts, that, they mean that sense, I, I agree with you. you know, I think that I guess I would say guys are lame. Or pick up lines, guys are bad. Or if a guy's not into your DMs, I know this is George's thing, but to me that's a whack. Like, yeah. like legit well, pick up line, like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I say, it's like, yeah. wow, what's the point of that? You know, and I, look, there's actually one of the I want to talk about because. I'm I'm definitely a duck at one point in my life for sure. Like I'll give you that like hundred percent. Like to be completely honest with you, because you know you come up, you kind of like. So here's the thing: social media age teaches you not to really how to approach a girl, mm-hmm. right? Like 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 you know go up to her and speak to her, but it just but it's also the times. Like I feel like us as guys, we lo- we've lost that kind of touch to just have that kind of like communication, but because we have hidden agendas. And look, like the I, first girl. I, I think you just said it. It's that like you know you lost the communication because let's cut through that crap basically. It's like this is what I'm signing to your DMs for a reason. I'm not trying to date you. I'm not yeah, trying to marry you. But, but that's what I'm saying. So like you see, like with that intention, it's hard for me to like say you're lame. But like then again, it, I, I don't know. It's like this is the thing. As a guy, I can't. Like, 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 as a guy, right? I remember, like, me, like, when I first ever, like, would, like let's say I tried to sign to a girl's DMs. It was, at first, it was experimental. It was experimental with a friend. Like, he'll tell me to say stupid stuff. <laughs> I'll say stupid stuff. And some of that shit will work. Like, like I'll never forget, like, the one line. I texted to some girl. I don't even know. It was, like, 3 a.m. And he's like, yo, write this, right? Um... McDonald's got apple pie. It's two for one. You want one? She replied. That's gold. She said, that's she gold. said, LOL, something. No, thank you. But she wasn't really having it. She's just like, okay, it's funny, but keep it moving, right? But I mean, that, that's just like, the, the thing is that like this day and age, that's how just guys shoot their shot. Like that's how, that's like that's, equivalent to yeah, like back then. The exactly. That's equivalent to back then. You know, you're nervous and you go to a girl at school or you go to a girl at a bar. Like, it's, it's, you it's, give her that, do you like me, yes or no? <laughs> it's, 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 right, that, that's incriminating. But you know, like, this is the thing. That I think guys are fucking lame as fuck for. And I think that every girl should take this approach. This is quick advice for girls, right? So, you know, there's guys that go to a girl, try to holler at a girl, and the girl will, like, reject them. And be like, I will fuck you then, or whatever. <laughs> I know, like, have you never seen that? You've never seen that. Oh, buddy, buddy, that's that's a shit. Like, no, but I've, dude, I've seen that many times. Like, it's like it's like a thing that like if a guy gets rejected, it's almost like he can't take that. And look, he, a guy can go to a girl and the girl will be like, "No, thank you, I'm okay." And he might be persistent and like, "Oh, well, you know, like, can I buy you a drink?" And she might be like, "No, I'm, I'm okay." And like, "Oh, come on, like, you know," and she might just like you know try to like really just slowly like bounce him off. And he might just snap and be like, "Ah, well, fucking that bitch. I don't want to fuck with you anyways." Or like some dudes be snapping like that. That's Honestly, some psycho tendency. I girls. think that in that case, a girl really needs to like, like, kind of be thankful for that intuition, because it's all about vibes. You get me? Like, think about it. Like, if a girl's feeling you, she might. You get me? No, she's no, gonna... no, it's not all about vibes. It is. Because vibes, like, I know good. I know. People who have amazing vibes, but are not the, I guess, what you would call most attractive. Mm-hmm. You know, girls will let a lot slide from a guy they find attractive. Yeah, but, but, okay, but the, that, that's exactly what I'm trying to get at, though. Yeah, like, you, but that, that's something by a vibe, though. Like, by a vibe, is you have to... No, nah, but for me, vibe you, is like, yo, the, you know, the conversation we had, or nah, the, the way I felt that person. But not in this, in this scenario, like, when we're talking about men and women, nah. Like, I you think... physically? Yeah, like, when we're talking about this scenario, where it comes out to picking up, I, that's what I'm... Like, look, you, a girl can find you very attractive, but the vibe is off. Like, you might be awkward and weird, like I am. Like, I'm not the smooth, like, I'm not that person. But like, I, I seen you move, bro. Yeah, you see me walk and trip or something like that. My name is Gutty. <laughs> JXRD Gutty. Yeah, I've never said that shit. <laughs> that shit will never work. Yeah, that shit will work. I try it all the time. So, you I mean, I think it you. depends. Like, uh, there's other guys that, you know, they, they know how to move. They know how to move, I don't know, adequately. I get, there's like either you learn from somebody or you just have it. Like, I don't know. But that's how guys learn, whatever. But I think in, in those scenarios, a girl needs to go up to a guy and, and be like, that's exactly why I said no. 
and make him feel like shit. Hell no. Yes. No. I do. I don't think so. place yourself in a spot of danger, woman. Look you, at, so you think? Let me ask you a question. You think that guy's gonna come and smack her up? I don't know. That's the thing, though. Look, I'm telling you, I I come from a from a mindset where it's like, yo, a no is a no, and you let it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's for the guy. That's not for the girl. Exactly. But if you see like this guy just got hostile, dude. Well, but that's not really hostile. That's really more. Because think about it though. That's like a defense against that, that. That's not what a dude usually does. When well, that, like, I should already tell you, but he's a child. Right? Yeah. But because that's exactly why you make him feel like you got you gotta make him feel in his soul. So like he doesn't do that shit to the next girl. Because you got like think about it like this. Imagine if you're with your boys, right? You think you're the man going up to a girl. Because this is the thing, if you're at a club or something like that, probably won't happen, right? Because at the club is like it's just very different. The scenario is different, it's like dark and if you yeah. get rejected, who cares? Because keep it moving. Like, yeah, exactly, you know? But I'm saying like let's say like you're like in Lincoln Road or something like that, right? Like, you know, in, by the beach and you're with your guys and you wanna go hit on the girl and she just told you no or whatever. Cause I mean, even in movies, you see that in movies sometimes. Like, like guys will go up to a girl, don't say no. They'll be like, "I will forget you then. I ain't like you anyway." So whatever, <laughs> you know, some childish shit like that. And then I think that I don't know, but the way I see it, is like, if a girl, were, if I were to, ever, I mean, I wouldn't do that. But if if I were to ever do it, and a girl were to come up to me and be like, that, it, just just like this, put her hand right on my shoulder, look me right in my eyes, and tell me that's exactly why I said no. It's like. Well, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna break right there. He's, like, right. he's like, he's gonna turn. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Honestly, because no, that, that, but that's the that, thing, though. I, I think, know. I think, look, I think guys are lame in that one scenario. In that one scenario, I think that's. That's the only guy. No, 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 that's not the no. no. I, dude, there's plenty, plenty. Bro, talking to a guy who, who I shoot, bro. I shoot. <laughs> I be missing, but I shoot. But the thing is, here's the thing. I think intent matters. Do you get me? Like, so like, okay, you know, we, we're in the world of Instagram, right? In the world of like, you know, where, where girls, if you look good, if you look good on social media and you post a lot of pictures, odds are you have a lot of followers and the majority of those followers are men, right? And they're just trying to get at you. Yeah. And, and not necessarily trying to get at you, but just... You're just you're candy. You're like candy. You're like you're like I, okay. I have I, something. I like, candy. Yeah, because like sometimes like you know some of these girls they're not they're not necessarily like bad girls in the sense of like they're sleeping around or if if you even call it I don't I wouldn't call a girl who's sleeping around a bad girl. That's just me. She's um, a naughty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like you know okay. So there's a stigma right that if a girl yeah, yeah. is sleeping around, she's a whole like a double standard. Yeah, but okay. I mean I think if you're single. No, that doesn't make you that. You get me? That's just me, me personally. You get me? That's a different discussion than like. It is. It is. Well, I mean, it's still aligned with like. Again, it's, I, I get what you're saying. It definitely is a different discussion, but it's still. That, I think there's more like a like a like a social stigma, like a, a norm. Yeah, right? it is. That is that you know that women are supposed to be conservative, like you know. And, and not, men, men are supposed to be it too, but we get the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, and we get more late because uh, you know it's a society that is ruled by. By the ideals, yeah. you know, Very and so true. it's always been ruled by men's ideals. You know, we've been making progress in 2018, but women are still not appreciated. They're still definitely not equal in every yeah. aspect. You know, true, true. So that that is, but I guess in another way, that would also prove guys are lame. Is guys who they see a girl with like no, she has a reputation, she's she's gonna run or whatever, and then they try to take the shot and she rejects them. Then they go ahead and now they insult her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and no, I, I, I have seen, I seen guys be like, "No, but she, had, she had this and she had that." First of all, you're just mad because she you said no. Like, she 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 said, just, and you know, okay, never mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's just no. You're just mad because she rejected you. Right. You know, and that's definitely lame. Like that's that's a duck, mm-hmm. right? For like sure. first, like yo, if you were interested in this girl, don't go out and bad mouth her, like bad mouth her later. For sure, because for sure. you were first. Yeah, because you were. It, you just, it's like your butter. Exactly. So your butter. So now it's like, so like oh, you know, that's, that's, that's the things I also don't appreciate. It's like guys who be talking bad about girls that they were once with. Or once with now. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. You know that's that's interesting. That's um thinking about it. Yeah, it it, it does. It, that's also a thing. But I think that's like a thing for men being insecure, and you know, I, I think for for men. Like, you know, you hear now more than ever, right? Like, you know, therapy is a thing, right? Like, therapy is not like a, this wholesome thing. You know, like, in the future, you're going to see, like, a lot more, like, this whole meditation is going to take over, I, I believe. This whole yoga stuff is going to take over for sure, you know what I mean? But for now, like, we kind of hear, like, you know, 
like all of this, you know, I could go to the, to, to, I just lost a word. I just said it right now. Meditation? No, not meditation. Yoga? No. With a doctor. Oh, therapy. Therapy, right. I go to therapy and we're, 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 many different us. Yeah, like we're, we're, we're like a little bit more like open, right? But I think that's, that's, that's insecurity, like for men. Like I think that's the insecurity that we kind of just don't even admit. Like, you know, talking about like, we're talking about girls, right? And girls not, at least when they're giving me some of the answers of the whole girls in the club thing, they weren't thinking certain things through, right? And we kind of decoded some shit, whatever, right? I think it's the same thing here. Like, men don't think some things through. Like, oh, nah, she, like, you know, bash your girl because she rejected you, but you were feeling that girl. You get me? So why do we do that? Why do you think we do that? Like, what, what do you think the insecurity is at? Like, well, the insecurity like, is, is, is that. It's like, you know, part of you says, man, you know, like, she made me feel like I wasn't good enough. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to make her feel like she's nothing. Like she's nothing. You know, yeah, like, as guys, like, I, I, shitty. girls are emotional. But guys, they, they're just, like, angry people. Like, guys really, like, you hurt a guy is not the same kind of hurt a girl gets, you know? Like, when a guy wants to actually make you feel pain when you hurt him. Like, that's realistic, right? Like, you usually, like, you know, you especially when you hit his mm-hmm. pride. Well, yeah, that's true. When, when you, you hit his pride. Him. I think girls are the same, though. No, no, but, I mean, now we, we see that this, 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 I guess, I don't know if evolution or, or regression where women are trying to prove, you know what, if men do this, I'll do it too. That's true. Right? But I've always held women at a higher standard than myself. Yeah, but I, I think I think women have that touch where they deal with emotional issues a lot better, right? Like, women are more forgiving. Like, you can cheat and a woman will take you back, you get me? But for a they man... They don't you hurt. They love better. But for a man, if you cheat on a man, that's hard for the man to really take you back. Trash, Plus, trash, trash, trash. Exactly, because it hurts your ego, yeah. you get me? And I think that part of that, is, it has a lot to do with, like, I think I think for men is more sexual than 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 ever. You know what I mean? Like okay, like if your girl had sex with another guy, you'll probably not forgive her, right? But if your girl maybe was talking to another guy or had a thing with another guy, you might you might you know what I mean talk that through depending on the kind of guy you are. For a girl, yo, you can cheat on her and do all of this shit. Cause I've had this conversation with, with women, and they're saying that like the limit for most women is a baby. Like, like that's it. but that's what I'm saying. But you see, like the all of the that has to go through it. It's like once you have a like, for example, like the Chris Brown situation, right? Like, I mean, come on, it's Chris Brown. Like, like Chris Brown, I'm sure, is cheating on Karuchi many times, and they have to deal with their shit and whatnot. But once Chris Brown got a baby from another woman, Karuchi was out. Like she was out the building. You get me? So I think that's like an example. Like, it is it, is the difference between men and women. Just is men's ego just definitely takes over. I think. But I also think, uh, and I guess somebody mentioned it, is is we have this double standard, right? For sure. Like, you know, you expect a girl to take you back and you mess up. Mm-hmm. But you know damn well if you did the same thing, to, like she did the same thing to you that you did to her, oh, you're not she, out of the trash. For She's sure. gone. Like, block sure. her number, delete her from your life. She never existed. For sure. For you sure. get me? So it's that idea that I think as, as guys, you know, you're right. We're not open in the sense that we, we don't admit when we're hurt. We're like, we don't communicate enough, mm-hmm. right? And society has kind of taught us that, the whole idea of machismo, yeah. the whole idea that a guy should always be strong, should always be this. But we don't understand what strength really means. Mm-hmm. Strength is that strength is the ability to understand our weaknesses and overcome them. Yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah. So be able to communicate, you know, I'm hurt or I'm insecure or I'm lost mm-hmm. or, you know, I feel jealous, I feel this. Those are things that are important for us to voice. Mm-hmm. No, if you want to have healthy relationships, that's the goal. Sure. That's not the goal. You just keep you know, hiding away. So there's the thing. I And I'm noticing this now. So for anybody, any girl out there watching, yo, I kind of want almost to like, like just speaking about it, I definitely want to like, I want to have this conversation with a girl, honestly. I feel like, you know, we don't have the same energy as if we're talking about girls. You get me? Because we can't get into that. Like, it's, it's different. Like, okay, so when you talk about us, um, we kind of know why we do certain things and why we don't do certain things. Like, I, I definitely, like, the first half, like, women are stuck on this belief of, oh, men don't know what they want, right? And then we always have this thing where women don't know what they want, right? And, like, the, and that's the simplest thing. Babe, uh, you want to go eat something? Like, what do you want to go eat? Oh, anything, it doesn't matter. All right, cool, let's go to McDonald's. No, I, I don't, don't want, want that. that. <laughs> All right, let's go to Red No, I don't want that. Let's go, I don't want, what the fuck do you want? Like, what? no, it doesn't matter, anything, anything. Like, I just named 60 right. restaurants. Like, but then yeah. girls will have the whole debate of, well, you want to be in a relationship, but you want to fuck other people. And you want me to be like loyal to you, but you don't want to be loyal. 
And you get me? So I understand like where the confusion stands at. And like I can't keep like the the girls at the club kind of energy with it because I I think that that kind of goes almost both ways. But we just directed it to girls in a way. Well, no, because like. In a way, though. I'm not going to say fully, but in a way, yeah, I, I, I would say that. Because... I, I mean, I guess what you're, what you're saying, it, it makes sense in the sense of, like, you know, we're going to be more biased, right? Yeah. Basically. So, we're towards men. For sure. Even if we don't try to be, it's just a thing. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, so, it would be dope, you know, if, if a girl would, you know, definitely... Like, what do you think, Jen, what do you think makes a guy lame nowadays? Not being able to take no for an answer. Oh, but we kind of talked about but, that. But see, like yeah. that's the thing, though. For me, it's like lame. I think of like whack, right? I think like duck. I think of that's what I think of lame. Well, but that we... that I just I just think that's disrespectful. Like, that is not being like you know I don't consider myself the most mature guy. But yo, there's literally the problem with most men is we don't have respect well, for let, women. Let me ask you something. Where do you think that? And you can answer too, since you're a girl. Where do you think that stops at? We like the, no, no, because like okay, like you know maybe let's say I try to approach a girl right and she's not interested, but I'm still I mean not, maybe not the time like maybe yeah like I'm not persistent at the time like I'm like, oh come on come on you know what I mean then like, let's say like I I I know I'm gonna see this girl often I work with somebody or I don't know whatever whatever scenario I know I'm gonna just see you multiple times and I try to like talk to you and you kind of like shove me out the way and I kind of like I'm persistent or what what's the limit is it like uh. Yo, dude, the answer's no, so get the fuck out of my face. Or when is it okay for you to continue to pursue? Damn, that's hard. Because, see, the answer is, girl, that's answers. hard. Because, at least in my view, damn, that's hard. Because that makes you a duck in two yeah, ways. Let's do this. Let's do this. That makes you a duck in two ways. We're going to do this live right here. All right. We've never done this. We're going to so, ask this question. I'm going to continue answering what Joseph's putting this live. So... Why should just give a cook intro? Actually, I just, actually, I don't. Should we go live or should we just do like a like a story and see if people? Are you want me to do live? Let's go live. Let's go live. Let's go live. Okay, we can split this into parts, anyways. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's a podcast guys, you guys, you guys bought this life, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe you know. We'll, okay, we'll see but you know, so let me answer my question. This is my thing, because girls are part of the problem in this specific situation, mm-hmm. right? I understand when a girl is like no in different mm-hmm. settings matter, like. Every no is not the same no. For example, yeah, when true. a girl hits you with a no, I don't want to dance with you, I don't want a, a drink at a club, mm-hmm. that is a definitely like no. But if you ask her on a date and she said no, I guarantee you there's gotcha, some girls out there who gotcha. are like those romantic type who be like, you know, I never actually wanted to go out with him, yeah. but then I gave him a chance and I found out how beautiful a person he was and I fell in love and I were married and he has 17 kids that and nine happens. dogs. That you get me? Happens. And they love that kind of a story, but they don't want the nowhere is like pressure. So, but in the end, let's be honest, both of those guys to us as guys are dogs. For sure. The guy who chased her down but you are, and the guy well, who was the club well, is a dog. I, I will say this. Hold on. Let me pin this because I know it's going to be on now. Okay. So there's a thing. You're right. I think to the guys, we're ducks. Yeah, we're ducks. Yeah. It's like, why are you chasing a girl? Blah, just blah. Alone, but right? the girl might find that romantic. Exactly. That's so, what I'm so yeah. yeah. So it, it's almost like you can. Okay. So, but this is where you have to like know: Are you? Am I sure of myself, or am I gonna worry about what other people? No, no, no. Think no you're right. I, I don't. I don't discourage the guy who who is so perseverant because yo, one of the most uh, you said it yourself, guys usually don't know what they want. So if this guy knows you as the girl I want, and I'm gonna get it till I get it. You know, yo, my hat's up to you. I'm still gonna call you a duck. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. I mean, the, uh, so here's the thing. Um, we have one girl. I don't know how old you are, but <laughs> if you're old, hey, actually, it doesn't even matter how old you are. Yeah, Essentially, um, yeah, but you do have an opinion. Let me wave at you real quick. So yeah, who do you know that is? It's a Mary. It's a Mary. No. Okay, I don't it's know. A it's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. Basically, uh, talking about how guys are named in 2018, and I just want more girls. I guess viewpoints on it and whatnot. Um, send send out send out anything, bro. Send out send anything on. Yeah, you have a few followers on your Twitter. Be like, yo, I'm down this live right now for girls. Go on in, see if people slide in. YouTube, YouTube, you do the same thing. You do the same thing. See if people slide in because I kind of want to have this conversation live, live right here for the people, really. Cause um it is it's, it's um it's like an interesting conversation. Like, I guess like you know, guy, we have a, a chance to kind of check ourselves and kind of realize like mm, like 
okay, what's what's really up, what's really not. So it's it's like uh, I don't know. It's hard for me to have that same energy. You get me? Like it's hard for me to have the same energy I had. Because I know the person. No, no, but I'm gonna tell you why. But I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. It's because you love to bash people. No. Yeah, you do. You you love to bring down arguments. So if I was to tell you, Joe, I love to argue. Yeah, you like to bring down arguments. No, I don't want to say arguments. No, no, no. Time out. Time out. Time out. I don't want to say I like to bring out arguments. I do like to argue. And if I feel like my point of view is better than your point of view, then I'm going to argue that point of view to the death of me. <laughs> I guess, essentially. I, 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 to, to some degree. Because I don't know, man. Like, look, okay. Look at this. The, let me tell you. Let me ask you this. Do you think guys are ducks now? Like, the guys that leave, like, like, the, like emojis on the girls' pictures and stuff mm-hmm. like that? You think those guys are ducks too? Is that like the same thing as chasing a girl? Because there's guys that do that. There's guys that leave like, like oh, beautiful in the girls' pictures and heart heart emojis and stuff like that. I, think like, I, I mean, it's not to friends, but to girls yeah, that they yeah, like yeah, trying yeah, to get with. I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm, I guess I'm going to be biased, but I think you're a duck. Like, if it ends up working, eventually my hat's going to go off to you. Respect. Like, you won. Like, if that girl's a beautiful girl, and I'm like, this guy got that girl? Like, I, I, I'm not judging you. Because that's not who I am. Like, I'm not that guy who be like, yo, first of all, she's too good for that. That's not me. Yo, if you got that girl, my heart's up to you. But at first, no one will call you a judge until you succeed. But there's no guarantee you succeed. How many other guys do you think actually Wait, end up but, with a girl? But hold on, hold on. But what if he does succeed? Then he's not a duck no more? No, he, he becomes a... There's no sense. Yeah, he yeah, definitely does. <laughs> well, nah. It's like, for example, I'll give you a... Uh, when somebody starts a new fashion trend, uh-huh. at first ever judge it, quack, wow, crazy, reckless. Right. And then when everybody else is doing it, what is he? The wave. Wait, wait, okay. So let me see this, bro. Some of the, the same thing with guys. Somebody right? said, okay, so they are lame if they don't know how to approach a lady in the correct, polite way without being rude nor disrespectful, also persistent. Ah, okay, hey, so for anybody joining in, we're basically talking about, if you see the, the pinned comment, we're, we're doing the podcast right now live, and we're basically talking about how guys are lame and how I'm personally failing to have the same energy to talk about guys lame because I need to see the girls' perspective. So tell us what's popping with the lame fellas out there, how they're lame and whatnot. So yeah. Oh, let's see the lady. So I mean, yeah, okay, see. but this is the thing though. Okay, so if a guy's persistent, right? And and you're saying that he's a duck because to the guys, it's like, why you keep chasing this girl who's not really giving you attention, right? Yeah. Essentially. But then once he gets her, then he's a man to you. Like, he's like the, oh, all right, I'll clap you up because you actually got that. Like, that's what you're saying? No, man, because they even can see, like, I'm going to look up to the guy. I'm not going to look well, up to Well, no, not look up to him, but I'm saying, like, are you going to fight? Like, but is he, does he get your props on now? Like, yeah, my hat's off to you. Respect. Like, all right, for example, what? Like, this is my thing though. I don't my know. Thing I is, my thing is, like, uh, someone like Urkel. Remember Urkel? Okay. Doesn't he get a girl at the end? Does he? Does he yes. Really get Laura? Yes. yes. Yeah, so, yeah, but, you but see, he was, was he lame the whole show? Yeah, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what though. No, no. This is the thing. All right. Okay. Like, like, I'm going to tell you every story. Every Disney, every lame romantic movie story. The guy was the best friend. Uh-huh. He always loved the girl. She was always stuck on some pretty boy football player, right? Jerk, right? And he has to like clean her tears. He has to be there for her. He has to support her. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Right? At the end, the duck, because he was a duck the whole movie. The duck ends up in a happily ever after. And we're all happy for the ending of the movie. But he was a duck for a minute, an hour and 59 minutes. That's and that is a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make a good point there. You make a good point there. So, all right. So, now let me ask something. To what degree would you say guys are like the lamest? Like the like like in just or or what what shit can you give guys right now? Like what kind of sh- I like like we give or at least I gave most of the girls shit right for the whole club bullshit. Do you think you have one for the guys? Well, yeah, but maybe it's like I'm Instagram biased. Like I don't really do Instagram. It doesn't matter. It's but to me, like for example, she like, said, "Hold on, somebody said, damn, I don't know what that means." Wait, you waved that much? Yeah, I didn't. Let me see, let me see. I don't know. Marcella said damn. All right, man. Again, for the new people joining, we're currently... Why is Fatima sending all these, like, weird emojis? <laughs> Did right. throw you? So, I don't know. So, essentially, I think... I don't know what she is. So, essentially, right now, we're live on the podcast talking about how guys are named now in 2018 and what you girls have to say about it. What, what you know, give us something to, to go off of more as we talk... 
Men, yeah. Well, men, how are men arrogant? Actually, well, yeah. Well, arrogance, Kenny. I think that's... Arrogance, I, I don't, I don't arrogance. think that's something that makes us lame, is it? I don't think that's something that makes a man lame. Well, it's to a certain extent, well, that's what gives men confidence. No, 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 no. Or oh, so, it can be seen as confident to a certain extent. There's arrogance as lame. Like, when you're arrogant about the... Like, when you're over-arrogant... She says we can't hear you. Take your hand off the speaker. Oh, damn. Good job. Yeah. Over here with your big old hand. Oh, it really has me on this. All right, again. Yeah. Apparently, you guys couldn't hear me. So, to say it again, um, for the people just coming in, for real, take your hand off. Hello. What are you saying, Brody? Damn, bro. Fatima's out here. You're on the road, bro. You're on the road. You're on the road. Chivalry is dead. Nah, man. Okay, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so we just kind of hit on this, right? So when you say chivalry is dead, you mean like, do you mean like opening doors, opening car doors, and like saying please, thank you? I think that means like the whole like, respect. hey, I want to hang out with you for ice cream, so I'm going to knock on your door and ask your parents at 8 o'clock p.m. if I can. You know what? Okay, you know what? I think I got a good one then. All right. For the girls still here, y'all can hear me. What? Tell us, I guess, what is an approach that is good, right? Like, or like, what, what, what makes a man... Able to approach you in a respectful way. I guess it's like people approach this is the thing. So it depends on you, but your approach situation is very different. You get me? You can approach a girl through the DMs, and I don't think, at least me, I don't think it's a bad thing because I might never ever see you in my life. And you the only hit, way. You hit it with that. Oh, that are so beautiful. No! I reckon that no. thou should be my bread and wife no. in one given day that the Lord allows. This is the thing. This is the thing. <laughs> so this is the thing. I think that when it comes to approach, especially through social media, it has to be creative. Yeah, man. It has to be creative in a certain way. And if you think about it, the more creative the guy gets, that means that the more attention he kind of is giving to you. Because if he doesn't really care, he's not going to really well, like, that's that not social media. That's going to be in general. Like, you know, when people ask me, like, dude, what, you, what, what is what's the whole thing with flirting? I think the key to flirting she is... She said nudes. Like, <laughs> what? Yo, you're in the wrong one. You're in the wrong one. <laughs> It's the wrong one, it's the wrong one, buddy. No, but I, I think, for example, like, you know, yeah. I, mean, I guess it is, like, the way you compliment a girl, it also makes you lame. Like, a guy would be like, yo, you got a beautiful, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I, can, I think I could agree with that one. Like, yeah. you say something, like, awkward or, like, you know, like, I appreciate when, when, like, I understand creativity. Like, for example, and I know girls appreciate when a guy will compliment something that they normally don't get. Like, you know, if you always get, you have beautiful eyes, you want something that's like, yo, you know, your smile is really beautiful when the sunset hits at 5 p.m. And you'll fall in love with that guy. For sure. You know, like, I don't know where I got that from, but you'll fall in love with that guy. Can or, you be saying shit like that, Chris? Uh, yeah, Stop I, trying to pump it. I am. I'm, I'm a very Stop trying to pump it. I'm a very cute guy. But, uh, or things like, you know, when, when you say something like, you know what, your left pinky toe, that French you got going on, that is beautiful. Oh, so Fatima said, I meant this is how you approach them. So you approach girls by saying nudes? Question mark? Uh, first of all, that's my hero. First of all, any that's girl on this that that's agree with the girl that just said we should approach you with saying nudes? That's my hero. If you do that, that's my hero. Give a thumbs up if you agree with that. If not, leave a thumbs down. Yeah, I don't know hero. if that's going to work. That's my hero. <laughs> I don't know if that will work. But, okay, what you're saying. So, yeah, so, you know, I, I understand the whole compliment thing, including in social media. I assume social media has to have, like, your game. It has to be A1. Because at least in person, you might get away if you're cute. No. No. Actually, no. I disagree with you. And I'll tell you why a game doesn't have to be a one. If your social media is set up to show and highlight your best features of you, then it doesn't. Because your social media does almost all the talking for you. So it's going to go into your profile. Because, like, yeah, 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 this, this is what happens. If somebody, so first of all, this is, what, this, this is the thing. If a girl even opens up your DM, you're already like, one point for you because nowadays, <laughs> honestly, I think girls get so much DMs that they don't. I know girls that are friends that they say they just delete DMs, like they just they don't even open them, they just delete, delete, so delete, delete. Don't go down yeah, so the DM. exactly. So sometimes it's not even like they don't even see anything, so it's almost like like it's crazy. So if you think about it, the if you even get to that point where they open up your DM, then it's like okay. Then maybe they're gonna probably nine out of ten they're gonna probably end up building your profile. Especially like if your profile picture is like it looks alright, they're gonna open up your DM and they see that you're uh, uh, this like explorer. I don't know, you travel a lot, you know, and you look interesting. Yeah, I mean it's not somebody that's you like, got a like it's not like me. Like if if you go to my thing and you just see a bunch of pictures of me, you're gonna be like, who the fuck is this guy? Boo. You get me? Now Boo. yeah, Boo. this guy's lame. <laughs> yeah, like like on, on social media I'm probably like considered lame, right? And then if you look at a guy who's like 
he's like this guy travels, you know, and he's taking pictures of like oceans, and he's like, you know, he's dressed up here, and you know, he kind of because man, like these things, it depends how you decide to play, mm -hmm. right? You could show a lot of you who you are, or you don't. You could just show selective things of what you are, right? Which most people are selective, but a lot of people show a broad, you know, just like a you get like a broad sense of what they are, what they're about. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like if you go look at my thing, you're probably like, oh, this guy's just into fashion, or he just likes clothing. You really can't probably tell too much, right? But like other people, they have a very broad. So sometimes in social media, the way you have your things set up will speak for you. That's why I was complaining about like people on Twitter, because people on Twitter they say the most reckless, crazy shit. Then they want to go ahead and say, oh, it's just Twitter. Like, no, I don't know you. So when I go to your Twitter and you're saying all these things, I'm thinking, well, either you're dope or you're crazy. Or I'm just, I'm, these are the things I'm, I'm thinking. You know what I mean? So then, so I, I think it, it, it depends. Like, I don't know. It just, it, it just goes, goes hand in hand and it's going to depend. She said, hold on, let me see something. Let me see something. You wait. She said, that's true. I don't know what she means. She said, I would think you're gay. If I ask for nudes, you will think I'm gay? Wait, wait, okay, you got to explain that one. So if I ask for nudes from a girl, you will think I'm gay? You got to explain that one, please. And Ray Ray, shout out to Ray J Photography. That's the, the like, quarter credit director, because you haven't done anything for us in a while. We shots slacking. fired. You're slacking, bro. You're Yo, slacking. Shots fired. <laughs> so, um, so, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's, it's just so many things that makes freaking guys whack. And thinking about it, I'm one what? of them. Wait, what? No, you know, I get a bias, man. No, I'm not one Yo, of them. Even, like, even like certain, like like swagger, swagger, certain swagger is. Oh, like, this I can talk yo, about. This I can talk about. Yo, look, certain look, swagger. Listen, look. listen, man. And this goes, this is going to go out for the guys right here. Stop. Yo, you know, this is one thing. I understand you pick up a trend, right? You pick up a trend that you want to try. Cool. Yo, I feel like guys are becoming trend whores. Like, honestly. Like, yo, there is no reason why your entire outfit should be one big trendy ass, like, blah, to, to, to like the world. It's like, unesthetically pleasing. Unless you're Russell Westbrook. You lack creativity. No, but I think Russell Westbrook dresses very... This is the thing. Russell Westbrook, the way he dresses, a lot of people don't dress like him. That's why I like how he dresses and that's why he stands out. Because yeah. some shit he wears is like, I wouldn't really wear that. But other shit he wears is dope. Like oh, when yeah. he wore like the like that baby blue suit with the off-white covers, that was a fresh look. Yeah. No shirt under. That was a dope look. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm saying like, okay, like I'll give you like the high piece, right? Like the high piece. That we're like, they were like, bro, too much crazy shit. Like fucking purple bake shorts with the lime green oh, supreme shirt. I'm not a high beast. I just have high beast days. I'll tell you that one. I definitely have high beast days. I don't think I'm a high beast. Let me see. Hold up. Um, if you hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, chill. If I were to judge you on it, you're gay. Okay. I think Fatima just go to sleep. What is she like, saying? I have no clue. So, Ask me for news from a girl is lame. Trust me, I say girls will send. Wait, what? Trust me when I say girls will send nudes. Wait, wait, wait. Time, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is a discussion that yeah, I need to be okay. having. Marcela, you don't have to hit me with this one again. So you said, asking for nudes from a girl is lame. Trust me when I say girls will send nudes. Or did you mean to say girls will not send nudes? Oh, will send, meant, will send nudes without you asking. Oh. Is that what she meant? Nah. Like, if you, she, if you got it like that, she'll send nudes. Marcela, you got to clarify that for me because I, I don't know where this is going. So clarify that for me, please. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you meant with that. It's like guys are lame. That's T. Who's this? What's T? I don't T. Like you know, it's like um, like the gossip. Yeah, like gossip. Yeah, like ooh, let's see what they yeah, talk about. But, but what do you mean by what? What? What has a guy done to you that makes him lame? Or what does he do that makes him lame? Yeah, you, that, you want to know the what's the what? Let's talk about what I sent you in the DM. That? She said yes. Wait, okay. Well, China. Yeah, I already talked about what you said in the DM. Which is math funny, but I don't. I, I have two phones recording, so I can't get to it. Two but it's in the recording, anyways. Marcella, yes, yeah, so yes, girls will send nudes if you ask for nudes. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. I don't think that would work. You should. Not, you've been fighting with the wrong people. You. I've never asked that question. I've never asked for nudes. I've never asked for nudes, but that's that's a uh, that's like and this girl said my cheese pass. No, okay. Nah, so, man. Charlie, first of all, first of all. <laughs> How, like, what, you don't live in Honduras, bro. Stop saying machista, like, you know? Brother, that's racist. Let's get down that way. It's not racist. That's racist. Racism and nationality, George? Yes. Yeah, we live in a very sensitive time. Racism <laughs> and nationality. 
So it's like girls send nudes when we want to, not because you ask. Got you. I like this girl said they ain't shit. They liars. Damn. They take relationships serious. <laughs> damn, damn. Okay, hold up. Okay, so Marcel, do you think that Marcella's thing is true? They send nudes when they want to. Okay, well I don't know. I, I, think I, I, I can, yeah, I you know what? Like, yeah, I can kind of. Okay, I'm telling you, that. the girls, I can see that. girls. Are, I think girls are better than dudes because girls are nice people. Wait, she said, she said, you better be my daddy for me to strip and send news because you asked. Ah. Yeah, okay, guys. I kind of like the word you're using. Yeah. I kind of like, that's a little bit but, too But too what, what if I'm zaddy? You know, I can ask them, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, if you're zaddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess, mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's your girl. Like, that's like, you know, what yeah, what you guys do or whatnot, then I guess it's, it's appropriate. But yeah, so, Fatima, you're making the girls out here look bad because this guy has nothing. Like, she's like, what? I'm like, hold on. Okay, so what what were we saying before? Do you remember the machista thing? The machista thing. That's dope, man. Look, I'm telling you, like, yeah, there's a double standard. That's something that's a given, right? Uh, and I understand that girls don't get the same equal uh, opportunities in a lot of areas. But yo, machista is like a concept that applies mostly to Hispanic men. So what's what's a first of the clarify? What's a machista? Like, I never understood like what's a womanizer? Like what's like the direct like? Well, machista is, machista is like. It's like a man's man, basically. It's like the man that that feels like you know he has the power, he has the authority, he has the same right, things. Th- things go as the way he goes. Like what he says goes, you know. She said, "Wait, oh, okay. guys suck a married guy with a child." What? Me. Okay, she said, "Guys suck a married guy with a child." Asked me out yesterday after he talked to me about his child. Like, dude, what the hell? Well, but she damn. said, "You both are Hispanic man," and this girl said, "Guys rock my world." Yeah, What's Yo, what is wrong with her? Yo, buddy, man, something's wrong with you today, man. I don't she had a trolley. Yeah, man, I don't no, know what no, you're no, But see, I, you know, I, that's not my chista, though. That guy is just, <laughs> guy is just a savage. Well, you know, okay, you know, perfect. There, I caught myself. We caught ourselves. Well, at least I caught it. I will say that right there. So, in that case, we kind of gave praise to a guy just right now. We call them a savage. Instead I don't of think that's a good thing. Of, well, savage is never really a bad thing. Though. Well, in my opinion, a savage uh-huh. is somebody who's reckless. Somebody who does not have control. Somebody who does not understand what he's doing with his well, life. Well, I think, I think savage is almost like like one of those things where it's like, there are a few good men out there. You just got to look. Well, I mean, okay. So, there's a thing with bandana daddy. Okay. So, I okay, there's a thing. The thing is that we also got to understand that men, I mean, women mature faster than men, right? I, I personally believe that, I that I women guess. are a lot more mature than men are. So it takes the right woman to make that man fall in love. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You don't agree with that? But I, but nah, man, nah. Hey, I'll tell you that's why. Whack. That's I'll whack. tell you why. That's, that's why. I'm looking right at them. I'll tell you that's why. Whack. I'll tell you why. Because there's a thing. There's only so much there's only so much you can do as a guy being single as far as like just having, you know, sex with random girls or whatever it is that you get out of being single, right? So so there's only so much you can do. So it at to, to a certain point things just become dull. Like it, it like okay, so imagine basketball players, right? Like I'll take Iman Shepard, for example. Iman Shepard is now married to Tiana. And he's an NBA player. NBA player who's obviously been around, like, because he has money, you know, he goes city to city. And I, I, he, get, I he understand. Clearly said, I understand what you're saying. It's just the way you said it, I misunderstood you. What do you mean? Because you're saying that when a, when the guy finds, like, the right girl, like, everything will change about him. Like, the way he acts. No, everything. no, I'm saying, I'm saying. Because when, when you say, saying, like, she'll make, like, she'll make you fall in line. Ain't no girl. So, machista doesn't just mean what he's saying, though. Machista is also that men think they can do whatever they want. And women I are just said that. to act I a just certain said that. way. I definitely yeah, just said that. Yeah, basically, basically, did. Because, okay, so, there's the thing. If once, once you're out there acting reckless, you, because there's the thing. Girls say this so much. Oh, guys act reckless, guys act reckless until they find the right girl, then they stop acting reckless, right? Whatever. Uh, meaning that guys will be out there cheating or whatever and that they don't act right until they want to act right. And you want to act right when you finally find that girl that you don't want to hurt and you don't want to treat bad or whatever. That's that's what I meant by falling in line. I didn't mean like you're like a whole new world and Aladdin. Like, no, I didn't mean it like that, but that's what I meant by falling in line. So you disagree? 
We disagree. All right, tell me how. Because, I mean, like, you make it seem like, yo, there's that one girl that will change your world. Like, nah, man. I, there has to be that girl that you you choose to say, yo, I'm going to change my world for her. It's different. That's what I just said. No, 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 no. You said she's going to change your world. No, no, no. I clearly just said that we act reckless and we finally find that one girl that we decide, oh, we're not going to hurt this girl. We're not going to because I care about her. Because in reality, you can say, oh, I love this girl. Cheat on her. And you know you're going to hurt her if you yeah. cheat on her. But you just don't no, care yeah, yeah. enough for her to, to be like, it. fuck your feelings. You get me? Yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah. that, that's what I mean. Like, no, like, we're going to do what we want at the end of the day. That has nothing to do with being a machista or nothing. Yeah. That just has to do with being a human and having yeah. a choice. Just like you as a girl will have thing. the exact same thing. Yes. Guys can't have effortless faith for it. Wait, wait. Guys can't have effortless faith for relationships even if they're trying to be good to their girlfriends. There's always intentions, flirting, thoughts. Y'all are tempted by women just because she got a big ass. But Chris gave a good definition. She said, preach. I might say like, yes, baby, preach. Tell them. Men are so horny, they don't have standards. That, that I'll give you that one. Well, oh, actually, no. Not for Chris. That's wrong. Trust me. This little motherfucker right here, pickier than... No, yo, you're the pickiest person I've ever met in my life, honestly. You, you are. are. No, you definitely are. You definitely are the pickiest person I've ever met in my life, for sure. Hands down. She, okay, Marcella, I kind of agree with you. To, to, I think that that comes with youth. Like, when you're very young... You you kind of are experiment. I don't. Want, I guess you can say experimental, but you are no, out there. Not. Yeah, you just, you want to like you know it's, it's a hormone thing. Just like women, by the time they get to their forties, that's when they're like really horny and they want to smash anything. And this is talking to women that are already older. Like they really just like, like I've spoken to women. You know, like where I work out, I work with you know dominantly women that are older. And like yo, like the ones that are single, stuff like they just say like yeah, like it's really just like I, like sex, you know. So. It's different stages of life. You get me? The thing is that, like, I think that people... There's girls want something right now, and they're looking for it in the wrong people. You get me? Like, don't go to the club and judging our guys that they're assholes off of the club. And don't judge guys off of the lame guys that you're getting on the DMs. Because that's not, like, necessarily, like, the right route to go. You get what I'm saying? So, I think it depends... Where you're judging these people from. Because I can't be judging girls when I go to the club and saying, Oh, all women are, are whores. Or, you know, using like these derogative language. Is that even like a right saying right there? Yeah, I guess. Okay. And using all this like lame language and stuff, right? Like like trying to like, it's like when they are complete women. What else? Like, it says, it's good to have high standards though. Having low standards looking for anything easy. True. Well, true. easy is good. If you avoid it, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out. We have, we have a lot of, you have a lot of, says, what? guys got high ass standards. Wait, picky? That's all you, George. No, I'm definitely not as picky as I used to be. Trust me. But that doesn't mean that. It's, it's just that I feel like as I've grown older, it's not about, like I tell you, man. You're, you're a loving man. You're no, 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 beauty no, no. Every woman. This is the thing, this is the thing. <laughs> and this is real. This is real. This is real right now. I, when I was younger, yeah, it's like, yo, you want the girl with the perfect body. But as you get older, it's not about the body. It's not like, yo, there's, there's just it's certain... Like, I know, like, you're different, right? Like, you have, like, your... Like, this is what I need from a girl. I'm not like that. Like, like yeah. You're going to sound some bad. You're going to sound like... I need a... Like, uh, no, no, but I'm saying, like, okay, like, for me, right? Like, I'm like a... My preference would be like, yeah, like, I like a girl with an ass. Whatever, right? That's my preference. But that doesn't mean that that's the only kind of girl that I want or, like, that I will go for. You get me? Like... You can have, like, to society, nobody, right? And that, that doesn't mean that I will see you like that. Like, I will see you very no, differently. I, only, I think it matters. It my matters. purpose is Wait. a big heart. She has a beautiful heart. That's all I care about, George. You sound, you sound lame now. <laughs> he's no care about <laughs> big booty. Okay. Some guys just look at girls, and if she's not pretty enough, they curve her without even getting to know them. Well, okay. Well, bandana daddy, I think, I think this is the thing, though. I think that in any situation between male and female, there needs to be an attraction, period. You get me? Like, there can't... You can't really be mad because someone's not attracted to you. You get me? Like, there, there's... Like, you might be an attractive person on the regular, and to other people that are way more attractive than you, they see you as trash, and you have no chance with them. So it doesn't necessarily make you an attractive person. It just means that that person at that time just wasn't for you. And there's some people that actually know what they're looking for. And if True. you know what they're looking True. for, then that's not you. Marcella said at 40. Yes, at 40 is like, at least from, again, this is from what I've heard from women that are this age. Yes, that. By the time, and scientifically, if you search scientifically, 
that's when women reach like their sexual peak. Yeah, like maybe you're more, you want more sex than the regular person, but that's when women reach like that sexual peak or whatnot. For, at least from what I've heard from, from girls. It's good to have high standards though. Having no standards is looking for anything easy. Uh, women, they are complete women. Okay, you're getting off topic. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting off topic. Give me a minute. Let me come back. But girls will curve a guy if he's not good Always. looking enough. Awesome. Always. Of course. But girls curve guys on the regular yeah. period. Machistas for me is a guy that treat women as slaves. Damn. That women's only are for home cleaning, cooking, only house stuff. I see what's wrong in my opinion. True. Guys still focus on the body though, of course, but that has more to do with attraction. Come on, let's get this. Okay, is, no, this is crap. Alright, let me kill this for you, right? I, I hate when, when girls are like, oh guys. Man, girls do the same man. thing. Hey, talk about, talk about, talk about. She's, my son's like, exactly. Girls, we can be horny, but we still care about the face. Like, yeah. ah, is that, I don't know what it is, I guess, about girls. I think it depends. I think a guy can, like, take himself out and just enjoy a body without necessarily having this, like, attack. Again, not every guy. It's not every guy. But I think it depends. Like, there's some guys that could... Enjoy for the moment. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, so it, it depends. Yo, Marcella's not fine. I'm not gonna lie. You couldn't this too, bro. I feel like high standards apply for both genders. We both expect our partners to be. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm about yeah, to say. Yeah, of course. First of all, it's about body for the girl too. It like, is about it is. Like you know, a girl maybe the one thing about a girl I'll tell you is that she's more lenient than a guy is. Yeah. A girl, sure. well, a girl would like say, you know, he has a pretty smile. Like, yeah, you know, like, something like first that. First what do you do with a smile? I don't know, but you be like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, but, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, well, there's a lot of things they can do with a smile. Though. A couple of things they can do with a smile. I'm not at your level, George. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there, bro. I'm but, really you know, that's what I'm saying. Bring the topic back. All right, okay, so, okay, okay. So, this is my topic. Go back right? to lame guys. Let me go back to lame guys. So, guys, in my opinion, are lame because of how. They think they're gonna get the girl, like that's what makes me like I think the epitome of lameness. Got you. So like when they hit you with the lame, like okay, you know what? Real quick, hit us with like the lame lines. I guess that guys hit that you usually hear as girls. What are like those lame kind of lines that you get like on the regular? I guess faces. I don't know if you want to take it. This so I think that's like the biggest one. You know, like you know because forget that guy's a hero. He's a savage. You know, this guy introduced you to his kid, and then he asked you on a date. Uh, why bash guys? Cause we're not bashing guys. We're just talking about sh- bash shit that guys do. That's we're not bashing guys. Some guys think they're superior than women. What does that have to do with lame? Some guys think they're superior than women. Well, yeah, in a way though, that could be perceived as lame though. Because this is the thing. So again, men have this ego and e- bro. I'm saying egos what makes us fucking whack as fuck. Honestly, ego makes us so whack because we care. Yo, know, once you have a big ego, you start to care too much about. Well, uh, like just like what we're talking about with girls, when girls are dressing up for girls, we kind of care more about what guys think think about us than like period. Like what you were saying, oh, if you're chasing a girl, she's constantly like like sending you no. Know, you see them as whack, and most guys do too. Like oh, like, why are you chasing this girl? You know, like another guy could get that girl easier than you can, and you continue to chase her. No, you, like, you look yeah, this lame. Like, she's way out of your league. Yeah, yeah, but then you see that's the thing though. Like if we could take that ego out and be like, okay, I don't give a fuck what my guys think. Then you're gonna actually get a chance to get what you actually wanted in the first place. Yeah, a lot of restraining order, one or the other. Well, <laughs> well, what? Look, you know what? I'm a preacher. I always say though, it's better to take those risks than to not take those risks. I mean, want a criminal record? I'm good. That's not a criminal record. Restraining order is not a criminal record. <laughs> it is a criminal record. You wait, 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 wait. It says you got a boyfriend. No, you want one. <laughs> I've heard that one before. I've never used that one, but I've heard that one. But I think that was like for like younger people, but I've heard that one before. I've never. First of all, what you know, what, yo, you're not on social media enough. That's your, you're not absorbing what the world has to offer. Thank God. I'm better for it. Definitely. <laughs> you think I'm the type of guy to be like, hey, you want a boyfriend? Like, she said daily. So that means that a lot of people. Well, I mean, again, though, like, I think that's the. That's what makes guys not. Like, in a way, though, this is bad, too. This is what's bad about social media. We have too many options, so we're almost getting lazy. It's like, you know what, fuck, I'm gonna just shoot my shot, and one of y'all gotta bite this shit. <laughs> one of y'all bite it. You start like, playing for abilities? Yeah, it's, it's, it's still recording? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Google. Pause it, pause it. Okay, Google. 
But no, man. Like, you know, he's, he said he didn't introduce me. I saw the pictures on his desk. You're from Tennessee. You're the only Tennessee. Hey, that's dope. Don't you ever disrespect. That's Hannah Montana, that's, first of all. That's that is old, dope. That's an old that school one. Don't disrespect that's that one. That was Jackson. What's his name, right? That was his name? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I believe it was Jackson. Okay, don't disrespect that's Jackson. Mad old. Pause. Nah, but... I, I see that you have a good hand on your shoulder. Maybe we can talk... What? Wait, wait, maybe we can go get some coffee to talk about our goals? Yo, I think you may be the issue, because those are whack lines. Oh, yeah, wait, wait. I can't describe how gorgeous you are. That's, like, so damn basic. Yeah, actually, you gave a big one. Oh, hey, big head. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Hey, that is head. cool. That is great. Yeah, but hey, that big is head. hey, big head is the text you send when, like, you haven't seen a girl in a long time or, like, it's one of those, like, send news kind of texts. Like, 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 that's text. that's like a you up text. Heard that one so much. Hey, big head. So basic. Yeah, that's like, like, hey, like, big head is like, like, are you up? Yeah, like, you up? Like, nah, you know, that, that was, that's not a lame one. one. That's wait, just, wait. Do you girls think that line is lame? Like, hey, big head? I don't know. That's like, are you up? That's literally like that yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Wait, wait. Girls use that on guys? Hey, big head? Oh, no, guys. Guys use that on girls? Use no, me. because I always see that as girls using that on guys. Yeah. So Sometimes. then why are girls bashing if they use it? <laughs> well, maybe these girls don't use it. Uh, I don't know. Okay. What else? Is... I've seen that so much. Whatever you want, I can buy it for you. Oh, that's whack. That's lame. Time up. That is lame. Time up. Time up. Time up. Time up. Time up. Piece of advice. I know girls have this thing where they're like, no, no, I don't need no guy buying nothing for me, blah, blah. Yo, take that, bro. Oh, yeah. Take that. Yeah, look, look. Let me tell you something, girls. All right? Guys, this is, we're talking about less than name. Guys are ducks. Don't buy things thinking that they're going to buy the way to your heart. You control your heart. Control his pocket, too. Take his money and keep it moving. You don't owe him anything. He buys you everything. Come on, man. Take his money. If he's duck enough to open his bank account with you, you take that junk and keep it moving. It's not his problem. You get red bottoms and you get to leave. You're good. Why are you not taking it? No, I man, I don't want to get the wrong idea. Tell them I don't want you, but I'll take the stuff. For sure. I, I, I would say... Um, guys are lame within the can buy you. Until. Yes. I mean, that, that's not the same thing as guys buying girls a drink, though. It's almost equivalent. Like we buy, we we don't buy girls drinks just because we're trying to be nice. We no, buy no, girls you want to. No, no, but you're hoping, but you're hoping to find a spark conversation. You're not trying to impress her. I'm a well, big money yeah, bother. Yeah, true, true, true. I I give you that one. That's a, that was also true. You know, this is different. This is like yo, know, you know, I can do whatever you want. You know, you can have whatever you like. No, she said she said y'all some gold diggers. Nah, man, you just sleep. Oh. You just sleep. That's not that's not being a gold digger. I'm just saying Same the system. First of all, you complain you the guys are machistas and they have the standards. Then how about you flip the game on his head and you take advantage of the guy? True. Don't complain about the system if you don't want to use it. True, true. Well, look, look, overall, I think overall, as far as um guys just, like, guys, I, I, I do see it. And I kind of, I, I have to agree with what they're saying, though, because, I, I, like, it's true. Like, I see it all the time. Like, guys really do be doing that shit. Like, girls will post a picture and guys will comment on it hella heavy Beautiful, gorgeous, and, and they try to come up with like I guess they're trying to like. So then, why did they post a picture? Huh? No, 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 not the girls. I'm talking about the girls can post whatever they want. That's the, we're not on the girls right now. I'm talking about that. the guys. I think, I think this everybody. is what make, this is what makes the guys kind of lame because they all chase after her. No, because of what they say though. Like everything they say is just unoriginal. That so that's what they're mad about. Yeah, like, really? like beautiful, like it's, gorgeous. It's like all this bullshit. That's like look, like I was just having this conversation the other day. I feel like. Look, let me see. What does that have to do with getting free stuff, Christian? You have never... Wait, let me see. You ain't ever gonna have a guy like me. Yeah, that's true. That That's... Guys do be saying shit like that. Baby girl, I've never felt like this before. Yeah, what that's a like good one. Like? That's a funny one. I love that one. Baby girl, I've never... No, 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 baby girl. Just like, I've never felt like this with anyone before. <laughs> I felt, I've actually heard people use that line. Really? Yo, it is so funny. That, that was corny. That's too corny. No, 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 that's funny to me. That's... Machista plus getting free stuff equals where is the sense? The sense in what? She's trying to say how is machista and getting free stuff from a man like the same. No, because machista. you always say, you know, guys get to do whatever they want. Now you get to do whatever you want with him. It's your call. I mean, okay, look, this is the thing. Uh, Bro, these girls are like retweeting it. They're all going to the Instagram and they're copying the, the things they got. Sure, sure. So here's the thing. So. Well, you know, they all they all say just unoriginal shit. Yeah, I get yeah you, they I all get say you. shit that's yeah. like that's like I guess this is, it go it comes down to like kind of like what we we're talking about last time, which like you know a girl values a woman's opinion more because, because it's, it's more it's genuine, genuine and it's not. But that's what okay again I'm not gonna no 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 that's another but that's another topic though like just to briefly touch on it. 
There's also that issue that when a guy's actually nice to you, girls automatically think he's flirting. He's trying to, yeah. Like, hold up, bro. Like, you know, like I have moments where I'm like, yo, you know, because you know, I actually like pay attention to what a girl wears. Yeah. And I'll be like, yo, your jeans are fresh. Yeah. And I'll see that girl like, oh, you know, like trying to give me the flirty eyes. I'm like, bro, it's not what I'm at. I wasn't like, looking at you. No, that's like, not. That's not. Yeah. You know. So like that. That's also like a mindset. That was. That was also one. Um, there's something about you that's so different. Oh yeah. That's a, yeah. you know, but these are lines. You know, it's funny. These are lines that like. That are like real deep. It's like some deep shit. No, shits, but, but you know, like, like, it's like when I tell you, like when I, when someone tries to be deep, right? That is actually oh, not deep. T- you're in the military. I like a girl in the uniform. These are all lines that are pretty like fucking whack. First of all, those are all lines that I see in a movie. Like yeah. when a guy with a buzz cut comes to so you. True, ninety nine percent of girls. Like you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like I see you in a in a bar, and but like, it's like hey, you know. Are you in the uniform? Like, yeah, bro, we're in the same platoon. <laughs> <laughs> like, my dude, you know where I'm at, bro. Like, don't even try to play me. You know? No, but but going back to it, it's, it's um, it, I guess it's just it's very generic. And I was I was saying this earlier. Girls, they at, at least at least from what I've learned, girls like to get complimented on things that reaffirm what they already know about themselves. Or something that like that highlights a detail that they work so hard on. You get me? That's why I feel like girls like other girls giving them compliments because it's usually on things like makeup and stuff like that. That you know, girls be taking like an hour to do their makeup, so they be blasting their face, working hella hard, and other girls appreciate it more because they know, oh, like how hard it is to get that. I, 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 I think they're gonna be clever. Like for example. Like, if I were trying to pick up a girl, I would always use Bible jokes. I think those are the like, clever thing in the world, bro. Bible jokes? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. What do you mean Bible jokes? Like, I hear her with like, something like, you know, wow, you were really made in God's image. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> like, That's lame! Yeah, you know, hit her with something like... That's lame! Oh, I'm just like, what? Whatever comes to the top of the head. Hit her with something like, you know what? You're so special. I would wait 90 years just to have my baby. <laughs> no, but, you know, okay, okay, okay. Let me ask you girls something real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says, you know what what my shirt is made of, boy from a Yo, who do you guys hang out with? I don't know who. That that was whack. It says, we were just talking about that, George. Yes, we were. Bible pickup lines are the best. I've been told you. I think, I think as far as pickup lines go, it has to be lines that... Spark conversation. And yeah, that are funny. I guess something that's like funny. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It has to be something that's original, I guess. You get me? But does that really work? I don't think that works. It does. Yeah, okay, look. Let me ask you this real quick. Like, I agree, Chris, but see, then there are guys that, that are trying to pull up. Was that your boyfriend? I've been dying for him to leave all night. What? Yeah, but see, then doesn't matter. Like, I understand, like, I understand like, that. Ever that there's guys who try to pretend like they're, like, good guys. Mm-hmm. But, yo, there's a difference. Like, girls have to understand that not every guy, I'm sorry, not every guy is interested in you. You know? Like, I can legit look at a girl and be like, yo, she looks good today. You know, and now is- what? You've seen it. you see seen when I point at a girl and be like, yo, she looks really pretty. But I would never get with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, this is the thing. I think I think it comes down to, like, how much attention you get on the regular too. Like, if you're a girl that gets a lot of attention, then... You assume it's the bad Yeah, so, I mean, I can't really blame it. No, but then if you get no attention, you're going to think, oh, wow, finally somebody liked me. You know what I mean? Like, Again, it, it, it's like a like a like a very. But I don't blame you guys because guys messed it up for guys. Like that's the reality. Guy, like the guy before the guy messed it up for the guy. Yeah. And you understand know what I'm saying? Well, but th- th- this is why I guess like it takes this creativity. I read the whole book of numbers and notice I don't have yours. Yeah. Uh, but you. That's a good one. I've seen it. That's a good one. I've never seen that one. It has to be that's come. It has to come up from your top of the head. I've used one. that one before. That, that was specific, but I used one similar to that. that. And it worked. It worked. So I remember that. Um, I think though, like, it really, it really is, like, it really depends on, like, how the guy approaches things nowadays because it has to be something that's very, like, are you a Christian? Mingo, look me up. on some. No, I've never heard that. That's why. That's why. That's real bad. So... It, it's like, I don't know, it's almost like guys have to work overtime to be original, but at the same time, I don't think so, to be honest no, with you. I, I, think I think if a girl finds you attractive, you're... Oh, of course, yeah, no, yeah, no, no. But so, I, wait, I, wait, correct me if I'm wrong, yes or no, girls. If you find a guy attractive, right, like the guy's attractive off bat, would you not be more lenient or already give him a chance almost disregarding what he says. You get me? I don't want to say like if he says something disrespect for something like that, but if he's like a little corny... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm yeah. saying? If he says nudes question mark, I'm pretty sure like he's First done. of all, that's a hero. No. That is a hero. No. That is a hero. No. That is a hero. That no. is a hero. 
Look, tell somebody who's down. Be to go. genuine and normal. No, no, no. Okay, stop what trying is, to be so no, 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 whack. That's a whack answer. Again, whack. I will, yeah, I will say that's a whack answer, and the reason I'll cancel is because you're. That's not true. Um, because I'm a genuinely a good a, a guy. It's just that I have a lot of crappy tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like that, dude. It's like no, no. I find that one straight BS because. How do you, first of all, how do you approach that? And how do you know like, that? This is, the thing, this is the thing, let's get one thing out the way, right? It says yes, but to an extent. Yeah, I would give a chance. To what? You'll give a chance to what? To what, Fatima? That's what I know, <laughs> to what? Because I do not believe to, what does genuine, what does that mean? Like, like oh, I kind of get what she's saying. She's saying yes, but to an extent, I'm guessing, or to a point, yeah. They're saying like if he's already good looking and he's a and you're already attracted to him, then you're always gonna oh, let yeah, him get away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you know, okay, what's the number one way you girls are getting hit on nowadays? Social media has down. Like I'm pretty sure you get way more DMs than you get guys coming up to you trying to like call at you. Of course. I'm pretty sure. So how do you approach genuine and you can't do that through social media? Like the only way you can do that through social media is if like you put up a story and I start asking you a question. Or you put up a picture, I have to ask you a question about it. Like, and I have to make it seem like it's real. But at the end of the day, it's not real. I'm just doing that as an excuse to make you believe that it's real. But just so that we can have an opportunity to that talk. Doesn't, that doesn't change. It's not a new thing. Like, for example. For sure. When, when, a guy, when a guy would pretend, like, hey, can you help me with my homework? Or like, yo, you know, you got the notes for this and this. First of all, you're going to cheat in the test anyways. You're going to need the notes. True. But you just want to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like, you just want to get your foot in, in the door. I got guys coming up to me and my DMs. Let me see. Guys are being too extra and over the top. I'm saying chill out. Yo, guys, if you're interested in any of these girls, take notes. They're all fed up with you. <laughs> up, Especially man. if you're on Instagram, all of you, you guys are the problem. Well, I mean, okay, hold up. What? How is a guy going to... Let me ask a question. How... Has there been a guy, like to you girls, like has there been a guy that actually succeeded in starting a conversation with you through IG? That, like an actual conversation? Not like a, yeah, what's your favorite theme? Or, no, no, like, I mean like a conversation where you guys started actually talking. Has there been a guy? Does that work? Because... That's, that's worked for me, though. Like, I've had yeah, a lot of You get away with different things. Why? Just because you're good looking dude. I want to hear, like, and she's not actually has started with, like, like you know? That's a good question. Okay, so to the four of you that are here, um, that's a Christmas question. Has a guy ever slid in the DMs and it's worked out as far as conversation? Go. An actual conversation, yeah. She said no. Um, I think so. I think, I think yeah, because it depends. No, that, but they feel... So, oh. so, nah, they all feel like interviews. Well, that's... A, you know, and that's also... That's another thing that I really hate, too. Like, it's true, like... I, I guess it's something that we don't realize you have to kind of catch ourselves doing. But that's another thing that guys do that I think is another lame thing. Like, we kind of, like, don't know how to really maneuver the situation. But so we start asking, where are you from? You know, do you have siblings? Like, you know, little, nah, man, little, man, little, I, little I, I, I don't think that's guys. Because you know that's one of the most annoying things in my, like, my life. Well, maybe it's in small conversation. But yeah, small conversation talk. is not a reflection of, of, of your gender. It's a reflection of your lack of knowledge. Because somebody who knows what to talk about can spark conversation out of anything. Well, but the reason, but the reason why it it will be it will gender applies here is because we're talking about guys sliding into girls DMs. Okay, but so I'm saying, girls, I'm saying so but don't say, don't say like guys do it. I just think the guys would usually could ask you like, "What's your favorite color?" What's it? Honestly, bro, I don't care what your favorite color is, so I'm not gonna ask. I like, open my DMs twenty nine days later. later. God damn. Uh, he didn't approach me in an extreme way. He just had a different couple, and that's why he went through crew. It's like, what you crazy? No, she's, she's saying it's true. It's true what you're saying. That doesn't apply. Like, to you gender. know, no, no, but I'm saying, like, in the sense of guys, like, I, I, you know, I, dude, I'm a dude, and you know, and maybe I, I like you or whatever, but I'm not gonna ask you what your favorite color is, what do you do. I don't care. Yeah. You know, I just wanna have a conversation because that will tell me more than any answer you give me. Yeah. Because the way you just naturally flow in conversation, will reveal if you're smart, if you're insightful. If I already find attractive, right? Those things are like that. Okay, well, look. This is how I was... I guess to kind of like um, make this... To simplify it, this is the thing. The thing is that at the end of the day, it's all about intent, yeah. right? So if I'm not interested in you, like, mentally, then I don't want to have these conversations with you. I just like to cut to the chase and ask a question. No, I don't see it. That's the thing, though. So I find depends. the conversation exhilarating itself, if it's a good combo. Well, yeah, but it, I think it just, it depends, though, 
on the person. Like, if you're intense with this person, is just like you just want to smash. Then you want to get to the point. Yeah, you don't want to like yeah, try, sense. you know, that try to drive nothing. Yeah. So that's I think that honestly, you have more chances if you come up to me than actually DMing me. Which yeah, but I think that's in general. I think in general you have more chances when you yeah, come but up to and somebody. also like you know, there's a certain bravery that happens when you don't see the person. You know, guys, yeah. guys who never like, there's guys who never talk to a girl in person, but they'll shoot at the end to her oh, yeah. because oh, they have to lose. Well, that's another thing for sure. There's guys that are a lot more braver and a lot more open through text messaging and DM than they are in person for sure. Yeah, definitely for sure. Because they can't really get rejected. Like, what's the worst that can happen? They don't reply. That that, that that's exactly what I'm saying though. And on top of that, it says in person communication. No, because they don't want to, but because they forget. Okay, I don't know what that meant. I feel like no one replies back nowadays. Yes, that's not true, Fatima. Um, at least in my case, I mean, for the most part, I've, I've, I've definitely gotten left on red a few times <laughs> in my life. I'm proud of lessons. Lessons. Those are lessons. Those are lessons. So you still have a lot of lessons, don't you? Yeah, man, I got about 30 of them joints. So. <laughs> you, have, you have them all printed out. I see them. Yeah. Do you have to print out so he reminds uh, of like, on the in my day, I probably don't slid in like. First of all, you make it sound like you're a grown man. You a little kid. You see this beard? I'm a grown man. You a little man. kid. You a in, little in kid. my day, I didn't slid in about. It's so it's all about a vibe. Yeah, which is is just, essentially it it's is a vibe. True. It it's is a vibe. vibe. But that's the thing though. Like, look, men are normally meant to drive the conversation, right? Like, they're meant to drive. So that's what I mean. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like, you might call that machista, whatever, but men are usually the ones that are supposed to quote unquote drive the conversation. And if they're the ones driving the conversation, well, they're usually the ones that start asking all these little small question details. And I kind of get it because if, the, if you don't really have nothing to go off of, then you're stuck. Yeah. You get me? So it depends on the answers you're getting. So it, it, it's a real complex situation. And I think it, it comes down to what are you about? Are like, you like, about that you relationship life? Yeah, like, you to get are you not about that relationship yeah, life? Yeah. And you gotta kind of just let it be known. You get me? Yeah. So, our guys laying on these? Absolutely. I'll tell you why. Number one, it's hard nowadays when you want to get something and most girls are not down. Yeah. So, what guys do is that instead of being honest, they just like to like make you believe that, yes, I'm a serious person, this, that, the third, and... They're not serious people. Yeah, you know I mean, they're just trying to get something from you, and that's exactly why we build all these walls, all these defense mechanisms. So essentially, all these motherfuckers that have fucked it up for the game for niggas like you. Well, actually, no, you're married. Time out. Time out. First of all, or people like I guess like nobody me, messed it up for me because I wasn't trying to play the game in the first. I'm not that type of guy. The game yeah. can only be messed up with people who are trying to play it. Kenny, you're such a fucking good guy, bro. Bro, I'm not a good guy. I'm just not trying to play the game. You are a good guy because you know what? The game requires energy, man. And it requires good data because you gotta keep on internet all the time trying to see people. I got T Mobile, bro. No, so I ain't no here. No, you're a good guy, bro. No. Like, I, I know the guys out there, you're a good guy. No, no, no. Fucking good guy, bro. You're over here, like, taking care of people. Literally. With this God's life, you taught me. God's, God's life. <laughs> no, man. So, God's life. I, I, okay, man. So, we're gonna, um, let me see. So, 90% of the time, if you have nothing to base a combo off of, then you don't know me. If you don't know me, you just want to talk to me because of how I look. Well, yeah, but I think, Ray, hold up. That's how it starts, though. Hey, you want to get the other person. That you look good, so I want to talk to you. So, you me? so now, what are we talking about? I don't know what we're going to talk about because I don't, that's just exactly, I don't know that's you. That's the point of conversation. Well, yeah, but that, that's the whole point of, I think, like, you know, the whole social media thing is, so, I mean... Look, the thing is, guys are just lame on their approach. That's just, essentially, that's, that's yeah, what it comes down to. Really guys are just being mad lame on their approach because some guys just don't know how to be honest about what they want, right? So they're just being mad lame on the approach. So that's that's all it comes down to. Yeah. Like, it just depends on how you slide into and you know into the whole situation. Let me see if anybody says that. Let me see. I agree with you saying. Let me see. Okay. So I agree with what you're saying. That's that's the hurt. I don't know what that means. So attraction also matters. Oh, for sure. Yeah, but attraction is the first thing. That's the first. Like, that's the that's the first foot in the door. Mm-hmm. The only reason you're listening to the nonsense that's about to come out of my mouth is when you say, "You know what? He's kind of cute. Let me see what he got." Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you'll let you'll let some stuff slide. Yes, yeah, so attraction matters. Like once you're talking to the person, I'm saying like you you will definitely let some stuff slide. It's just like that, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's a lot of execution. Look, honestly, to be honest, I think you know girls need to just kind of like. Learn again. I don't think you guys should be ignoring any DMs, in my opinion. Um, unless you automatically think that this shit is fucking lame. You know what I mean? Because this is how you're going to learn the game as it is. Period. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, in my opinion, like, the more... And get some red bottoms out of it. The more... Exactly. <laughs> get some red bottoms out of it. Don't say no, because you want some red bottoms. And then, to get like this... 
Or how about you know why you buy me some stuff? Take advantage of the guy and you buy me some stuff. I like always tell but You ugly, I ain't even looking your way. <laughs> yeah, who said that? No, no, she said like if I think she's saying oh, if you're ugly, oh, I ain't even looking your oh, way. I think she like, meant you're ugly, I don't know. Like, God, <laughs> damn shit. Right, I'ma quit my life right now. <laughs> like, damn, let me see, um, that's true. Yeah, okay, so I mean I, like you know, essentially that's what it comes down to. Like it all comes down to attractiveness, I think. And if the thing is how do you execute that? Yeah. You know I, mean? yeah. I think right now at this time Certain girls are expecting too much from guys, and guys are expecting too little from girls. Yeah, man. Let's, let's put they, it like they, they really think girls can't take the truth. Like, yo, this is what I'm trying to do. Like, yeah, like, like as the thing is that in reality, for the most part, if you're a guy just trying to be physical, nine times out of ten, you're taking the L. I think no. <laughs> let's go six to seven times out of ten, you're taking the L. I want to see. Yeah, for you, you agree or no? Six, sixty I mean, to seventy percent of the time. I, I it think out. it just matters that like, you gotta find the right situation. Like it's not even the right girl. Because even the girls that are not about that under the right situation will make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's just like you gotta know, you gotta why, like you gotta understand like the play. Like dude, you're not gonna go and, and try to find a girl that you should get with one night. Like I don't know in, in public, <laughs> that doesn't work. But if you go into the right situation, yeah. then you might just make it happen where she's down to make that one mistake that she'll regret for the rest of her life. You know? Yeah. <laughs> for the rest of her life? Like when you got her pregnant or something? No, nah, man, so you're gonna be disappointed. <laughs> well, so you are so bad that she's gonna regret you for the rest of her life? Cause God. she's gonna be like, no, no, okay, so here's another thing. That's funny that girls do. Like, girls don't, girls don't count the guy that don't, yeah. Yeah, like the guy that don't make them, like, you know, whatever, guys yeah, are yeah. whack, they don't count them. Which is like, girls, really yo, that's, that's one thing, that's very bad. That's for another, that's for another